Please, show me to the hotel, the one nearest to here and farthest from the police station. If you really want to thank me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we like I just met you, but I mean, if if, if that's really what you want to do, like we can we can go to the like you know like we can go to the hotel. No, I'm saying no, I'm saying. Huh. Red thirty eight is about to return. Oh, Red thirty eight is about to return. About to return to me. For example, what is the meaning of our existence? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way they have a dog pondering the meaning of existence. <laughs> what is poppin'? What's going on? Is mantras? How are you today? I hope you're well. I'm doing great. We got reverse 99 and we got the fat update here, baby. 1.1 event and all the other bullshit going on. So let's, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and see what's popping with this event here. So we've got the theft of the Rimmick Cup. 27. Wait, this is a th this a This is a month long event. This is a month long event. I was not expecting this to be a month long event. Jesus. Oh, there's a lot of content in here. God damn. Alright, let, let, let's go ahead and see what the story is about. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited because this game has such a good story. They'd offer another award for the 13th International Jewelry Show. The company claimed that the person who filches the heart of London can collect a £1 million reward at number 15 Bond Street. Reliable news sources reveal that several people have failed and been arrested, including big names like Greedy Jack, crime duo Pain and Drizzt. Oh, excuse me? Hello? Excuse me, the beautiful lady in black. Are you interested in the news of today? Grab a copy. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you've turned around. That's to say... Ah, oh, you're... Sorry, my... My bad. Oh, I didn't notice <laughs> your... <sure. laughs> uniqueness. Uniqueness? What the fuck? Is she you ugly? I need to apologize, warm-hearted child. Could you please read me the news of the day? I will pay appropriately. Sure, my generous lady. Please uh, sit right here to get away from the crowds. What does he mean uniqueness? Is she ugly? <clears throat> I hope you don't mind my raspy voice. <laughs> London faces severe public security issues. Approval rating might drop. Ace Cafe prepares for motorcycle road racing. Government fails to halt. Rock Pirate hijacks radio frequency, claiming fun is about to begin. Oh, that's about um, it's about uh, Regulus. You see her? You see right there? It's a little wanted poster. Artistic freak on street. Police warning over colorful bubbles. No, oh, that's the other guy. The colorful bubbles is the uh, digger. Yes, today is the day when multiple breaking news is published in the newspaper. A wave of street culture, the conflict between the new and old order, and a young artist desiring to step onto the stage under the spotlight. Sorry about my voice, I just woke up not too long ago, like an hour or two ago. Feeling a little, a little groggy still. The theft of the Remy Cup, the friend from afar. <laughs> that will be a fantastic plot to start the story. In the corner of the room, an unexpected guest sneaks in through the window. He closes the sergeant's drawer without making any noise. Everyone in the office has their own business, and thus pays no attention to such a slight action. We are here with full sincerity, Sergeant William. Certainly. You made all our headlines. Londoners know what you've done. 
However, your proposal for security companies in maintaining the security of London doesn't conform to the principles of law enforcement. What's more, the public is still alert to security companies. You know, after the Ramirez incident, people no longer trust security companies. Ramirez? Oh, Jesus. Why do you compare us with an arcanist company? They never make any security plans, nor do they resort to weapons or force. The only thing they have is the stupid brainwave, which definitely brings all kinds of trouble. They even claim possessing the imagination that goes... Good heaven. Well, hard to believe, though. They did create many miracles, just like what you are doing. <laughs> Security that lives on the irrealistic imagination can amaze the public shortly, but the efficacy never lasts long. Efficacy. The efficacy never lasts long. Sorry, I had to check my sound settings. We are not that desperate to deceive the public with a fake trophy, nor will we commit suicide in the fear of punishment like their founder. Sergeant William, please trust us that New Humans is a robotics company doing the right cause. We have a well-formulated guidance on security. Iverson presses the button with a pleased look. A strange robot steps into the room. What the fuck? Hmm? This is our latest product, Security Control Type 1. It carries abundant security measures including tear gas, endive worm powder, magnetic interference unit, and can detect any threat within a radius of 5 meters. 5 meters. Most importantly, it is fully under control and reacts to emergencies with 173 inbuilt programs. I think it is a reliable helping hand of our police officers. Just like now, if we switch on its sensor... <laughs> Suddenly, the robot makes a loud warning sound. Suspicious invader detected. Location right under the first office desk. The second, the third, the target is moving quickly. Is it going wrong? It never goes wrong. Iverson quickly walks to the curtain. The curtain is opened. A sneaking figure stands up. Hey! Mm -mm. Hey! That's my dog Diggers! <laughs> Gentlemen, and this very sensitive robot friend. Hello? Ugh. You! Again? Where's... Thompson, get in here and kick him out right now! W wait wait I just want to talk to you about the watering car look I've told you a hundred times nobody ever cares about those god knows what pop elements pop yes pop you just spoke it out currently pop is still too avant-garde so I'm very glad to meet someone with the same taste that's because you've tediously repeated it for ages so you can understand our philosophy and I believe others will I get it. This is a malicious rule breaker. Such kind of violation can be tackled by the security plan installed in our robot. Sergeant William, here is another reason why London needs our robot. Robot? It's the new measure prepared for all discontented rule breakers like you. It will stop all your willful actions. Any violations will be severely restricted by our security robot. It looks not reliable at all. Oh, I didn't read that part. Sorry. I was drinking my coffee. Digger spokes the body of the robot. And it's not as soft as police dogs either. Hold on. Why he kind of drift out? Like in the in the in the trailer, I was like, eh, you know, I don't really know how I feel about him. But he actually looked kind of cool. You know, he got that little, little little jewelry on and tight shit. You know, nails painted. His glasses are hideous. Like these glasses are terrible, gang. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But then he got a little tats and stuff. Like he kind of cool looking. Kind of cool looking. You should try shaking hands with those fluffy shepherds. It helps shape the emotional system of your robot. 
Puppies are friendly, lovely, and they can read your mind. Oh, such a lame idea. Some people don't like those plushy quadrupeds. It's so difficult to get their hair off our nose and clothes. Oh, and their smell stinks. Sergeant, now I will present you Security Control Type 1. Moralization. It has an all-round precaution plan installed for all citizens. And of course it knows how to cope with you hooligans. It doesn't rely on some impalpable imagination. Totally controllable? For sure. Iverson presses another button. The robot starts to blink in red and walks towards Diggers. Hey! Malfunctioning, you iron monster? Keep away from me! What's in your hand? Put, put it down! That's rude! We want peace, not war! Mmm. Alrighty. Uh, what am I gonna run here? Bravo! Now. To divide the spoils, or should I say? Iverson presses the switch with pleasure. The robot calms down. As you've seen, Sergeant William, our robot excelled. According to our research data, new humans is winning the public. People trust robots. They are looking forward to a safer and more peaceful London. Wow. The talent Mr. Robot just presented is stunning. What talent did he just present? I just whooped his ass. Digger struggles to recover from the defeat and tries to justify himself. Sergeant, please don't believe the nonsense he just said. London needs imaginative art parties. It needs street fairs for everyone to get their voice heard. London, I will throw a feast for more people to have fun. By then, our philosophy will hit the headlines of all newspapers and become a new title trend. Everyone will get to know and fall in love. So this seems like the story is going to be like uh, like an art versus like um, like a, I, I don't know what the trope is actually called. But like there's like people who want like creative freedoms and whatnot and like artistic freedom and stuff. And then there's like, you know, the the man, you know, the authority who wants to stamp all the creativity out of society type shit. Like that, that's that's what it seems like the story is going to be, which is interesting. I, I like that. Really? But we only received countless complaints about you particularly. Uh, uh, people just need some time to digest. See, and it seems like they're not making the authority to be like just a straight up bad guy, at least not the police, like the sergeant dude, like the other guy seems kind of suspicious with his robots. But the sergeant dude is just like, look, man, I get what you're saying. But like when we got people calling in saying that you being crazy and like we're getting complaints, we got to shut it down type shit. So like, I can see that that aspect of it, too. It's like, you know, 50 50 type shit. London has been in chaos for too long. We need to thoroughly and completely root out all dangers and threats. See, when somebody says some crazy shit like this, this is when you know that, like, there's prob like, this is a problem. When someone says we need to take out all dangers and threats, it's like, alright, you're crazy. You're absolutely insane. I'm in total agreement, Mr. Iverson. Ah, shit, and he won you over. No, there you go. I think New Scotland Yard will further consider the importance of security robots in London. Disapprove. This is a violation of civil rights and a defiance to liberty. A sudden ring interrupts Digger's great speech. Iverson snatches up the telephone from the robot's shoulder, like tearing up an arm from a doll's body. Mr. Mr. Iverson. Oh, she already stole it? The heart of London is gone. What? What? The passionate speaker has noticed that it's a perfect chance to escape other than wasting time talking. I wonder if he was sent there to distract them while she did that, while she stole the ship. I wonder if they're even on the same side already or not. An impromptu party. Diggers. It's beautiful. This is what father used to protect. But it is mine now. <laughs> the robots can't tell real fire from fake. Just a few sheets of nitrate flash paper, they'd turn on all the fire sprinklers loyally. 
Then, a steady stream mixed with slug essence from the firewater reservoir gushed out of the sprinkler heads. Miss AC, did you see how the robots were glued to the floor, unable to move? If they had emotions, they would have cursed me to death. <laughs> Are you satisfied with the answer, Miss AC? One last to go, Melania. Oh, Miss AC. Oh, I don't know why you sound like a, you know, sound like mommy material, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <sighs> what a strict mentor. Your talking bag is your mentor? I, I, got, I got another story between these two. No worries. I will get back to the hotel as planned. Right on the dot. <laughs> Wait, so when he said that she was... She's not... Is it because she has glasses? I don't understand. When, when, when she turned around and the kid was like, Oh, sorry, I didn't know your uniqueness. Is it because she has glasses? Because she's not ugly. At least not by my standards. I don't know, maybe I'll trip her. The next stop is... Room 1132. Insomnia Nighty Hotel. Who the hell says the whole room number? You say room 1132. What the hell is 1132? <laughs> Get to Regent Street. Take a rest on the bench at the fifth flower bed for three minutes and 25 seconds. Then turn into the lane next to Honey Candy House. I'm not gonna lie, she's kind of growing on me. I, I, I don't, I don't want to pull her, but like, look at her, bro. She looks so good. <sighs> Why's my bag growling at me? The handbag suddenly starts to shake. It seems it wants to escape from Melania. Miss AC? On your right. The ground on the right side starts vibrating with the strong beats of music. A strange fire engine slowly drives into Re Re Regent Street? Is it Regent or Regent? I think it's Regent Street. What? W what's going on? What? In the witness of the crowd, the fire engine with strange pattern raises a bucket above the water tank. A glossy soap bubble comes out. Then more of the distorting mirror-like spheres follow. Bubbles? <laughs> fire engine. Bubbles? Is this the latest way to extinguish fire? But why is it here? <coughs> there seems to be something wrong with the bubbles. Are these diggers bubbles? Not good. Leave. The soap bubbles glisten in the sun, but what is shown on their reflective surface seems unusual. Linia shields her eyes cautiously and runs into the opposite direction. Right, only three minutes left. I, I must go now. Don't stand in the way, hey? That's not the direction, boy. Ah, I see. That's a ski resort on the snowy mountain. Ooh, is it like hypnotizing them? Enticed by the visions of their dream lives reflected in the bubbles, the passerbys are now moving slowly in one direction. Mm, interesting. They all walk in the same direction. Not a single man can reverse the flow. The crowd eventually stops at the fire engine. Hey! Hey, don't push me! Wait! Someone sticks his head out the car window. Okay, hold on. Okay, diggers, see, this is why the cops have a problem with you. Because you're mass hypnotizing the public. You can't do that. Welcome to the Bang Bang Frisbee Rock and Roll Party. This is an improvised and liberated event of art that everybody can join. This is the utopia where you can totally voyage far, even with myopia. This is our world in the future. Yeah. Who's this? Oh, so they don't know each other yet. Interesting. Ugh, a knobhead causing traffic jams on my way? A knobhead. <laughs> a knobhead. <laughs> There's no time. <sighs> okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Just fix these bubbles. There must be something that works. Uh, disguising caps, staples, hiding cups. <laughs> <laughs> I found it! The smart detergent gun! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so the bag talks, right? The bag is a mouth. So whenever she reaches into the bag, <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> the bag is like deep throating her arm. <laughs> what the fuck? 23 detergent bowls at one shot. In a flash, it will make this place shiny as new. <laughs> Perfect answer. Give me back my empty streets. She fires the gun. Several dark green bullets shoot out. Uh, yeah, shoot out the floating soap bubbles. And the scene is like a fireworks show. Don't. It's super absorbent. Soon the bubbles are gathered together by an unknown force and form a huge transparent globe. each other enthusiastically take it away it is the summon of your terpy the revelation of terpsichore haha <laughs> thank you so much that avant-garde courageous and innovative girl in the leather cap <sighs> the crowd seems to be deeply caught in their re re reveries i guess it's reveries believing what they see in the bubbles to be true see me Actually, no, we're not going to talk about what I would see in the bubbles. <laughs> we're not going to talk about what I would see in the bubbles. This is an unexpected party. These unplanned and inexplicable things. Ah, I think I'm also affected by the visions. The traffic is totally congested. No chance to get back to normal in 2 minutes and 25 seconds. Leather shoes, glasses, dog leashes, and frisbees have up all been thrown into the sky the crowd becomes even crazier those who walk in the opposite direction block Melania's way her body and her mind have been pushed backward hold on dog leashes and leather leather like leather clothing and dog leashes like what's about to happen in these city streets man you about to get freaky little freaky ass city honey candy house insomnia 90 hotel calm down Melania you've sorted out a roadmap of all the blocks in London you need a new plan a bold new plan. A tramp in the restless crowd is extremely happy. He freely walks in the crowd and takes Melania's handbag precisely. Woo! Parties! Parties! Throw them to the sky! Your magazines, your handbags, everything! Celebrate! <laughs> hey! That's my magazine. What are you doing? What are you going to do with Miss AC? Give it back to me! The soap bubbles, also the mind fragments of diggers, is... Is that how you write that? I thought you... Anyway. Float around the tramp and fill him with confidence. He feels himself the most powerful, fearless, and courageous, like Hercules defending his war trophy. Watch out! He's mad! Yeah, he can't whoop me, though. Advice from the forest. Red 38 is about to return. Oh, Red 38 is about to return. About to return to me. Jeez, I can't tell his strength just from his appearance. Whew, well, um, Miss Melania, thank you for your uh, bewildering variety of gadgets. I would have been in trouble otherwise. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Time is over. My plan. It, it all. The girl holding the handbag drops her shoulders. It seems she still lingers in a world of depression. Miss? Oh no. You're not under the influence of reflective bubble, are you? Oh, that's not good. You need to wake up before the police come. Okay, if he knows the name of the ability. Then maybe he he knows diggers. Maybe him and diggers are like friends or something. The police? The twelve. You're right. I haven't finished my answer sheet. There are way more important things to do. I can't get stuck here. <sighs> she wipes her face, takes several deep breaths, and calms down. Please show me to the hotel, the one nearest to here and farthest from the police station. If you really want to thank me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we like I just met you, but I mean, if if, if that's really what you want to do, like we can we can go to the to, like you know like we can go to the hotel. <laughs> no, I'm sad, I'm sad. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, rest in. 
maybe you could take your chances there. A better choice would be Insomnia Nighty Hotel, but apparently the way there is blocked by the stupid fire engine. Rest Inn is around the third corner down the lane from here. By the way, stay away from those nutters dancing in bubbles, and keep an eye on your handbag so you don't end up like me. He takes a glance at the worn out magazine, World Soccer, in his hand and sighs. <sighs> I managed to grab it from the news agents and this is what happened. Also, sorry if you can hear. Sorry if you can hear that. They're like cutting grass outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but. Oh, my Rimmit Cup legend. I bought it for my collection precisely because of the column topic in this issue. The Rimmit Cup? Yes, you know it too. The same trophy that was won by Brazil four years ago. Brazil! It's suddenly missing during the exhibition and was replaced with a counterfeit by a thief where nobody knew. The security company failed to do anything and thus paid out a huge compensation. The genuine thing was only found in the trash months later. That legendary trophy has now arrived in London. It will be the most wonderful award given to the winner. That's crazy. So imagine someone stealing like a priceless object and then later, like months later, they find it in the trash and it's like, damn, like he stole this priceless object just to like show that he can he didn't even care about it that's wild while charlton is fully wrapped up in the excitement of sharing his story the huge bubble is slowly turning this way it is attracted by his story too obviously bang a smell of sour flame wine soon surrounds him <coughs> charlton feels a sharp sting in the nose this is one of those awful side effects brought by these soap bubbles they don't burst. Instead, they capture their prey with invisible frizzy an antennae? Ant antennae? Antennae? Uh, oof, sorry, I don't know that word. Something seems to be burning in Charleston's head. The next second, the color of a bubble hits him with a gentle bump. Am I seeing things? This is actually a celebration party for England. And it's the biggest ever. <laughs> Pickles! Pickles, come on! Mr. Charlton, are you all right? It's March. Still quite a long way to go before the World Cup final. Is it? <sighs> Thank you for reminding me. I need to tell Pickles in case he goes there for nothing. Charleston is about to leave. Pickles? My little Pickles? He staggers a few steps and falls to the ground. <sighs> he shouldn't have let his guard down. The bubbles from the fire engine must have been turned into a sort of life form by some specific incantations. <sighs> Poor Mr. Charlton. I suggest you try some of this. Lenia takes a bottle of mist spray from her handbag and sprays it at Charlton's nose. Stinky mud freshener. It cleans the air nearby with its brutal destructive power. Only with a slight side effect. <coughs> The tip of Charleston's nose becomes red. He sits on the ground, gasps for a while, and gradually calms down. Oh, oh I feel so much better now. I almost couldn't breathe. <laughs> He's about to say thank you, but soon realizes the girl with the handbag is gone. Hey! Thank you, Miss Melania! God bless you and have a safe journey! He wipes out the dust on his clothes, but finds the magazine missing. Instead, there's a strange bottle of mist spray in his hand. Huh? She, she stole my magazine! Lenia puts a worn out magazine into her handbag. After taking several more corners, she will arrive at the newly set destination, Rest Inn. You're welcome, Mr. Charlton. I think the stinky mud freshener would suit you better. God bless you to find your little pickle soon. Philosophy of the Puppies, Pickles. Shout out my dog, Pickles. A black and white shepherd dog lies carefree on an unkempt lawn. He's perfectly covered by the weeds and wildflowers. Leisure is a treasure for Car Carnaby Street. Oh my God, it's a dog. But it never lasts long. This ugly ass dog. 
Oh, I get to voice act the dog? Oh my god, I get to voice act the dog. I get to voice act the dog. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Wendy, how did you get here? <laughs> Hearing Wendy's ex Jesus Christ. Hearing Wendy's excited barking, lots of puppies start to gather. They run out of stores, leave fire hydrants, appear on the other side of the road, and rush- I can't even read that. I have no- I have no intention to make any complaints, although a sharp sense of smell is indeed important for us. We still need to consider something more essential, something that matters more than the sense of smell. For example, what is the meaning of our existence? <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way they have a dog pondering the meaning of existence. <laughs> For example, what is the meaning of our existence? What is the purpose of living here? What? <laughs> the dog's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you think it's for the coming fluffy sports meeting? Of course not. Pickle size. Hey, Nelson. And it's definitely not for the latest rats capturing race. What I'm saying is... Damn, that long ass sigh. <laughs> what I'm saying is, in this world, why have to be a... Why have to be us? Is that proper? Uh, I'm sure it is. Are we independent individuals, or just some human's pets? Mmm. Thinking of real shit. Pickle sighs again. Wendy, you're an adorable and smart puppy. I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I should let you finish all your woofing and howling before I start to read your lines. I apologize. Wendy, you're an adorable and smart puppy. Humans would love to throw the ball and wait for you to pick it up. But what if, one day, you accidentally fall into a sewer? Like, you lost your way during racing and could only stay in the sewer full of rats forever. Meanwhile, one puppy who looks exactly the same as Wendy replaces you. And it remembers the same, behaves the same, and thinks the same way you do. By that time, will this Wendy be the puppy we know? Bro, no way, no way Pickles is spitting philosophical shit right now. <laughs> the other puppies are listening to Pickles with full attention. That's right. It is also... Wait, sorry. That's right. It's also skilled at finding plastic balls and impresses all the other puppies. In that case, do we exist for our past experiences and thoughts, or something more than that? Bro is really pondering life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should not make the hypothesis that your unique ball hunting ability belongs to others, although it's not a... Well, it's just a horror story. Thank you for understanding. This time, Pickles doesn't sigh. He walks to the other side of the street alone, with his shadow pulled along, pulled long by his. Sorry, I, I've, I swear I can read. He walks. He walks. To, whatever. <laughs> Don't worry. Now I'm just looking for some mouth-watering apple pie. And I wish you all the best in the game. I think I have to summon for Pickles. He's a philosophical thinker. I have to summon for him. Pickles avoids the crowd and eventually finds a quiet place to rest. Maybe I was wrong from the beginning to look for mutual understanding. There's no such thing between dogs, let alone between dogs and humans. Are you like a human in a dog's body? Maybe I should lead a different life. Maybe there are friends who can truly understand me somewhere far away. So... Am I ready to leave? Pickle stares into the sky. It's still March, but why is there an apple on a cherry tree? Apple? My dog Apple? Hmm. Oh! The front door of A's cafe <laughs> faces the north street of the road. 
It's which is around four point eight oh three miles from the destination. Yo, it's my man. Captain Regulus drives at sixty five miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Given the rules of the racing, she will arrive earlier. Oh my God, Apple's so cool. Wait. Oh my god. There's a lovely puppy. Two goats meeting? Two legendary gods meeting? Apple and, and pickles? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Apple slowly falls down. Hello, Mr. Puppy. Oh my apple is such a real OG, bro. <laughs> so bro, Apple is such a real gangster, bro. Oh, not a hallucination. Your smell shows that. You are also an arcanist. How are you an arc? Okay. Is it like Jojo where anybody can be a stand user? Can anyone be an- I mean, I guess he's a floating fucking apple with a bow tie. I should have expected him to be an arcanist, but like, the dog's an arcanist too? Hello, Mr. Apple. This is the first time I met another not-so-human arcanist. I thought I'm the only alien, being isolated from other arcanists. You look a bit nervous, Mr. Puppy. Are you hungry? But why can Apple vocalize, but he can't? Perhaps it is not a good time to fall. No, it's exactly the right time. I have so many questions about Arcanist, and I'm hoping you can help me. Please don't show me your tongue at random. Makes this Apple feel stressed out. <laughs> yeah. Captain, help. Oh, so he can't... He can't understand him, that sucks. Are you calling for your friend? Do you know any other arcanist? Does your friend share the same appearance as yours? Like another wise apple? Excitement can be read in Pickle's eyes. Your eyes seem to light up when I mentioned my captain. If Captain Regulus finishes the racing trouble free, I might introduce you to her. But now, let's stay away from each other, puppy. Oh my god, apple, don't be scared, but he's not going to eat you. Sounds like a special name. Oh? It seems you are quite interested in Captain Regulus. I mean, Regulus is the goat. Wandering across high seas, she is a great pirate who never gets caught by all the Orwellian and the Conservatives. Is my explanation precise enough? I hope my wording meets Captain's requirement. Oh my god, this event is like covering almost all my favorite characters. Like Regulus, Apple. I mean, I love Pickles now. Um... Like, uh, the only thing that they would need is just, I just, it would be cool if you guys can uh, do me a favor and just add um, <clears throat> DK into this event. That'd be cool. Mm, is your friend a pirate instead of another Apple Arcanist? But seems you can understand each other. I wonder why. I think you will like her. That's what I'm longing for. No indecent or boring hobbies. No worries about refusing invitations such as pillow fights or catching balls. What's your solution to that? Especially when your human companion cannot understand you at all. Most of the time we are wandering in London. Captain is fond of anything novel and funny. Wait, so does Apple understand him or not? Wandering. Sounds like a good choice. I will consider your suggestion carefully. Thank you, Mr. Apple. The sounds of a roaring engine, a collision, and a girl screaming come from the street nearby. Oh, I am sorry, little puppy. I have to go. Captain Regulus seems to be in trouble. Regulus, my baby! I really enjoyed our conversation. I hope I can fully understand what you say next time. Oh, okay, so he didn't understand, no? Or maybe I can invent a tool to help us communicate. See you, puppy. Bark, bark. Oh my god, Apple's such a real one. <laughs> hmm? Headline, Regulus. Oh, we're covering Regulus, my girl. My baby. The farce in Reg... Reg the farce in Regent Street seems... I, f I feel like it's Regent Street. Is it Regent or Regent? Can I look up a pronoun... Hold on, I'm gonna look up a pronunciation real quick. Regent. Oh, it's Regent. Okay, it's Regent. It's Regent. The farce in Regent Street seems to finish as the siren's alarm. 
As the siren alarms, the street returns to its quiet status as usual, except for a sneaky figure who tries to escape from the fire engine. Freeze! Routine check. Your fire engine driving license, please. He eventually turns around. Hello, Mr. Officer. Something tells me you don't have one, bro. Again, within a month, you visited the police station 13 times. Stirring the pointers at Big Ben, dawdling at 10 Downing Street, dying Tower Bridge with waterproof paints. This time, you threw a messy street party, didn't you? <clears throat> it was not a mess, police officer. You're suspected of breaking traffic laws. It's reasonable for us to arrest you right now. Uh, wait, police officer, what? What I did is legitimate. I've applied for the use of fire engine to the sergeant and got approved. Digger shows the note in his hand. Please feel free to check, Mr. Officer. Oh, is that what he went to the police station for? Just that's crazy. That does not look like William's signature. Huh? <laughs> I can't believe the sergeant would approve such a ridiculous application. You gotta be stupid, bro. <laughs> That's what he approved. But how are you going to justify those weird bubbles? Which one are you referring to? The laser bubble that reflects people's dreams? It caused all the people at the square to fall into a deep sleep for two whole days. They experienced the most unexpected but best holiday ever. Honestly, I really envy them. <sighs> Or you mean the classic work of mine, the Reverie Bubble? If it's convenient to you, could you please disclose the feedback of other officers? I need some inspiration to revise my formulas. What did those officers see when they enjoyed my bubbles? Surrendered criminals or a promotion announcement? Enough! This time we will absolutely find out the odd ingredients in the bubbles. You can't deceive all of us. Only if you guys can open the water tank. Diggers points at the fire engine surrounded by police cars. At least up to now, you don't have enough evidence, Mr. Officer. Fine. I now ask you to cooperate with our investigation as the witness. Ugh. All right. I'll stay here till you find new evidence. <laughs> what? So he did he did the crime. But because he has that little note, they can't really pin anything on him. So he's asking him to help them find what the fuck? Eye on him. Yes, sir. <sighs> the police officers start to investigate the fire engine. Digger suddenly bends down and clutches his belly. Is he gonna fake a stomach ache? What the hell are you doing? Get up off the floor. The young and naive police officer rudely pulls Diggers up, but he fails to notice a bubble with a reflective surface forming behind him. <sighs> Nighty night. He is sneaking to the end of region. Region is region. He's sneaking to to the end of. Hello? Uh, can I read? Let me take a deep breath. <sighs> He is sneaking to the end of Regent Street and attentively counting his steps. The steps away from the siren, the steps towards freedom. But it seems that he totally ignores the approaching engine sound and the anxious warning of a pirate. My girl! My girl! My girl. Get out of my way! <laughs> Regulus is Regulus! The shiny motorcycle draws a beautiful parabola into the sky and eventually lands precisely in the gap between the flower bed and the wall. The rock girl on the motorcycle crashes into the liberty sneaky sus <laughs> into the liberty seeking suspect. <laughs> Look at her. Reckless is the best. He hits at her? At least they have arrived at their common destination, Carnaby Street. Whoa! You a first time driver? <gasps> you ruined my game, boy! It's <laughs> you. <laughs> you ruined my game, boy. <laughs> Regulus! That rock pirate fraudster! <laughs> Oh my god. Bro, regulars need to be in every event from now on. <laughs> you know me? Damn it. I knew I had to watch out for you undercover cops lying in ambush around the track. Oh my god, she's running from 12? She's such a real one. 
She's what a makes goon. you think I'm an undercover cop? This is stigmatization. Bro, she's a gangster, bro. Well, you're right. Cops shouldn't be wearing such ragged clothes. Oh my god. And then she oh, she flames his fit. Oh my regulus is <laughs> Yo, Regulus pulled up, crashing him. She said, you messed up my game, boy. And then, and then she accused him of being a cop. And then she said, your fit is trash. Like, she's, she's such a real goon, bro. Like, she's... <laughs> what? This, this is a demonstration against the materialistic life. The code of freedom. <clears throat> Though you didn't mistaken me with those stupid cops, I still suggest you better distinguish us. A humorous suggestion, ragged lad. Oh my god, she's so she's such a gangster dog. Oh my god. A red globe gently falls down next to Regulus. Apple? There are some slight scratches on the code. The transmission system functions well. The braking system is not very well. Mr. Apple, you're back. <sighs> Your vehicle looks fine. Captain, are you alright? No, I could have won this, but it all went to pot. The ragged lad ruined my game. My chance to be a podium winner. He ruined a rising racing star. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to warn you again that any defamation might cause a lawsuit. No way he's threatening to sue. <laughs> <laughs> it was your fault. You broke into the trap, ragged lad. Oh my gosh, he's calling him broke boy. Like, ragged lad is like... It's like the the English version of broke boy, like the British version or whatever. I don't know if she's, I mean, she's obviously like English. I don't know if she's like British or something else, but, but like that's their version of broke boy. So she's basically saying it's your fault, broke boy. <laughs> the chaos here arouses the attention of another batch of people. Sir, the lawsuit you were talking about, are you referring to those? What? Bloody hell. They found me. Bloody hell. The police officers are getting closer. Canopy Street, call for backup. According to the latest update from Sergeant William, his seal has been stolen. The suspect, Diggers, is suspected of committing a series of crimes, including illegally using fire engines, forging police ID, attacking police officer. <laughs> we also found someone illegally held an MRR competition on the street, and the suspect is likely Regulus, the rock pirate on the wanted list. <sighs> you two! Freeze! Cooperate with our investigation! Whoa! Run! Run! Sen. Just like the prophecies of the woods, the scales have already been tipped in my direction. I win today, and so will tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. You always win, Druvis. Someone escapes while someone unfortunately gets arrested. Neither one of them has to lose the game, sadly. Is he all right? Maybe, if all his statements are to be believed. Do you remember what he said at the end? He told us to read tomorrow's newspaper, the headline. Is that an obituary or something? Mr. Apple, I'm going to add a special session for rock radio tonight. What? The worst beginning and the best ending to Al Forever, ragged lad. <laughs> Bro, why is she acting like he died? <laughs> Why is she acting like he died? What the fuck? A good beginning doesn't bring a happy ending. His theorem always holds true. Finally, I'm back. 25 minutes and 38 seconds. <sighs> I can't believe I'm 15 minutes late. Ugh, blame it all on that bloody fire engine. Still need to work on your flexibility. <sighs> I'm trying, Miss AC. Now, the final step. Yes, the final step. Take a photo of the reunion. She reaches into AC's belly. <laughs> I like how we... It's not even she reaches into the bag, she reaches into her belly. <laughs> She reaches into AC's belly and finally takes out a special camera. Melania, is it Melania? I think it's Melania. Melania holds the camera with one hand, grasps at the heart of London with the other, and presses the shutter. Although 
there was a little challenge at the end. I was able to complete the answer sheet successfully. Um, what if I enjoyed the photo shooting? Twitching eyebrows, stiff smile... You'll like him. <sighs> no. I'll be better, Miss AC. Unpredictable imagination won't be enough. A better plan with more details is also required. I won't let go one single minute until I accomplish the ultimate goal. I became a thief late in life, so I'm not yet good at dealing with emergencies beyond the plan. But, at least so far, I've given the correct answer to every question for the left. Oh, her father. Is that her mother then? Is the bag her mom? She takes a thick black portfolio out of her handbag. See, now they call it her handbag. Does she have a separate handbag? Like, is eight? Whatever. Turns to the last page and suddenly sticks the photo she just took onto that page. <laughs> what was all the shit she Please. stole? Oh, what father used to protect. Oh, so she stole all this shit just to take pictures with it. That's cool. You've done a great job. Thank you, Miss Hacy. There's only one question left. The key question. The Rimmick Cup. If I recapture Father's memories and glories, is it enough to make up for his regrets? Father, will he understand me? Maybe you should meet him. Hmm. So he's not dead? <sighs> okay. Interesting, very interesting. <clears throat> oh, no, he's dead. It has been some time. He, he's definitely dead. This is a cemetery. <laughs> when the company went bankrupt, we couldn't even afford a decent cemetery. Damn. She endeavors to find the right way out, but all paths and tombstones are blocked by the weeds that are half a man's height. I wouldn't be surprised if a few wild animals jump out of nowhere in this... Desolation. Squeak! Excellent judgment. Critters! It seems they've made this place their playground. And they stare at the heart of London, held by Melania with greed. Sorry, this is not the shiny crap you want. It's on an important mission. Be careful. Thank you, Miss AC. decision to carry around this popping nut. The critters scatter, kick away the broken rocks, and step over the weeds. Melania finally finds a relatively tidy tombstone. Father, I brought the heart of London for you. Why does everything sound muffled right now? What the fuck? Do you remember it? Did my ears just like give out? Tracked by the surprising slug spray and broke into the security room with it. After that, he turned over a new leaf. And things unattended have never come to his mind. I don't know if my audio just messed up, but everything sounds muffled all of a sudden. But what I'm going to face is completely different from a poor little thief. That new security company had carefully arranged robots. They took action by the book and were heavily guarded. But there's no creativity in their defense. All actions were exactly as they were in the guidance on security. Not even as surprising as a fire engine. It should be the best of times for thieves. She collects that gem, blows away the dust on it. And puts it back onto the envelope. I'm sorry. I can't leave it to you. It needs to be sent to Sergeant Williams' office tomorrow evening on time. As evidence, it's quite important. But I have some interesting news. Melania takes out the worn out World Soccer and gently puts it in the front of the tombstone. The world seems <coughs> to have changed a lot. Football today. Today we have Mr. Iverson from the New Humans Company, which provides security services for the soon-arriving Rimmit Cup. 
As an experienced head of the company, he would love to share the stories of the Rimmick Cup with us. Years ago, the Rimmick Cup was under the protection of the most well-known security company, Ramirez, but magically disappeared overnight. It only took one day for Ramirez to retrieve the cup. This flourishing company received waves of compliments, and people were celebrating the story of a false alarm. Everyone, including us, thought Ramirez defended their reputation. But, unfortunately, evidence from the verification agency showed that the Rimmick Cup... They brought back was a counterfeit bumper. They were confronted with the pressure of forgery suspects and the disappointment from all the peers. The imagination of Ramirez caused catastrophic havoc to the whole society. Mm. We then, after put aside the security theory held by Ramirez and return to the more science-based and reliable guidance on security. As it turns out, any security theories without regulations are castles in the air. It's a pure joke. I just want, I just like, I wonder how Centurion's gonna play into the story because she has a skin too. She's getting a costume for this event. So I wonder, I wonder how that's gonna play into the story. Or how she's gonna play into the story. What's a sharp comment? Security measures require pre built plan. The sound of like the radio waves is really fucking with my ears. Ridiculous imagination is the last thing. The ideal answer to all of these can be taken from the new human security robots. Thank God. Father, when you were assigned the mission to protect the Rimmick Cup, did you ever imagine such a day would come? If we had conducted a quality check on that Rimmick Cup after receiving it. If we had investigated the transaction records of the client company, if we had verified the list of patrol officers, perhaps I would not be talking to your silent tomb today. He died? Uh, interesting. So her dad died while he was on security detail for the Remick Cup. So I wonder why she's stealing. So is she a thief now to like try and make security better maybe? So like nobody else ends up like her dad or some shit? Melania pats the tombstone, just like comforting an old friend who is distressed because of his bumpy career. Cheer up, father. I will prove it all. Even if it'll lead me to a path different from yours. Real protection is more than defense. It's about attack. Mr. Iverson needs to learn a harsher lesson. Oh, so she's trying to bol okay, so yeah, it seems like she's trying to she's trying to bolster their defenses by like showing them how raw she is at stealing or not show them how raw she is at stealing but show how like it's like it's like when hackers will hack like a, a a website or something and then like they'll show the the creators of the website how they hacked it so the creators can like make a defense for it it's like shit like that like she's like raw, she's like stealing these places she's like stealing these pieces and breaking into these places to show them how to like improve their security detail i, I, I think that's what it seems like. Um, all right. <clears throat> so we went through the first. We went through the first five episodes. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. I will continue this in the next video. I just. I already know this one's gonna be super fucking long. I don't need it to be any longer. So far, though, I am loving the event. The event is phenomenal so far. Absolutely, Chef's kiss. Mwah, so good. <laughs> um. But yeah, it's gonna be all for me. Should we go a summon? I don't. Ah, see. It's not that I don't want her, because I do want her. It's just that I kind of want pickles now. So it's like, ah, man. And I, ah, man, should we do just one? Just like one quick 10, boy? We could do, should we, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, that's going to be all for me. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the event so far. And I'll talk to you later. Be easy, subscribe, I love you, bye.